The annual Hopkinton Poly Arts Festival kicked off a busy Saturday in Hopkinton on September 16th. This year was the 43rd year of the annual festival. HCAM News was on the scene and talked with some of the vendors. We are from Marathon Quilters Guild, which is a group of um, quilters and craftspeople from Hopkinton and the surrounding communities. And this is our first year that we've had a, an artisan booth, if you will. We've done in the past nonprofit booths. So we've spent about a year trying to experiment with products we thought the community might like, community of poly arts goers. So we made quilted stockings, quilts, pet toys, anything we could do with fabric, and we figured we'd give her a go. Little Man is a family-run business based out of Whitensville, Massachusetts, and um, we design a collection of textile handbags and accessories, and they're sold um, a couple hundred stores all across the U.S. So I understand uh, you sold some food here today at uh, Poly Arts. Can you talk yep. about what the funds are going towards? Uh, the funds are going towards uh, ourselves, Troop One, so we can uh, continue to make this community better. And uh, yeah. Excellent. How are uh, sales today? Busy? Sales were very busy. We ran out. Uh, we we're beginning to run out, actually. Ran out of water fastest, I believe. I'm a glass artist, a lamp work feed artist, and I do kitchenware, giftware, and jewelry. All handcrafted glass beads, uh, made in a torch, melt the glass and rods and make all kinds of different things from them. Semi-precious gemstones and fine silver, gold filled, all kinds of things like that. Um, really functional items like uh, kitchenware, platters, serving pieces, things like that. And I actually just opened a working studio in Westboro. So I've done, this is probably my seventh or eighth year doing poly arts. I love this, this show, it's fabulous. Um, and at the studio in Westboro, you can make, um, I teach you how to make glass beads, we do workshops and ladies nights and kids classes, all kinds of good things. I have fused glass pieces that I make and shape in the kiln. Most of it's dishware that is food safe. It's, uh, it, it's a pr presentation. It's not just a piece of glass. And then I have pieces that are made more just for artwork. Um, I do commission orders. I have garden accents. I do, I don't have any with me. I do lamps. I do, oh my goodness, the sky's the limit really with glass. It's a matter of just playing with the glass and see when you come out with. Excellent, how long have you been doing this for? I've been playing with glass since I was about eight years old, but I was fusing now for about 10 years. <laughs> 